Hi everyone, I am Alperen Kantarcı from Istanbul Technical University. I will present Offline Signature Verification on Real World Documents, which is a joint work with Yapıkredi Technologies. As a practical usage of the signature verification, we address the verification of customer signatures on banking transaction order documents by using customer signature in this signature declaration form. Unlike the public signature datasets, most of the signatures are occluded in these documents and biggest reason of occlusion is the rubber stamps on signatures. Also, signatures in these documents have very high intra-class variety. Our main contributions in this work as follows. First, this is a comprehensive study on offline signature verification on real-world documents with both private and public datasets. Secondly, we do extensive experiments on different verification setups to systematically analyze the different signature verification setups and training methods. Finally, we formulate stem cleaning task as an unsupervised image-to-image -image translation task and we propose a cyclegen based stamp removal method. We use both private and public datasets. As a private dataset, we have used Yapıkredi Bank customer signatures. We divided data to two sets. In representation learning set, we train our writer independent models. In verification set, we make our experiments. Individuals are completely different between these two sets. Positive pairs are formed with reference signature in the customer signature declaration form with unstamped or stamp signature of the same user. Negative pairs are randomly selected pairs. Please note that we cannot publish the dataset due to data confidentiality, but you can see an imitated unstamped and stamped signature examples. We have also used a public Tobacco 800 dataset. There are no rubber stamps in this dataset, but it contains different occlusions as all real-world documents. This dataset is not targeted for the signature verification, but we have structured the dataset to create similar sets as our private dataset. And we published our benchmark publicly. We propose a method to remove stamps and occlusions from signatures. We formulated stamp cleaning task as an unsupervised image-to-image -image translation problem. We utilized CycleGAN to clean stamps from signatures. We trained our model with thousands of unstamped and stamped signatures. G function denotes the mapping from stamped signature to unstamped version. F function denotes the mapping from unstamped signature to stamped version. We didn't use any customer from verification set. Therefore, it's invariant to identity. Our method primarily targets stamps, but it also learns to cleaning other unwanted artifacts in real-world documents. However, we only investigate the effect of stamp cleaning. CycleGAN may leave slight artifacts in the image, but we explore this effect in our experiments and we show that applying to both unstamped and stamp signatures doesn't affect the performance. To systematically analyze the effect of the stamp signatures on verification performance and effect of our proposed stamp cleaning method, we have created five different verification setups. First setup is classical signature verification setup. We apply cleaning to both domain to create second setup. Third setup has stamped target signatures. In setup four and five, we first apply cleaning to target than reference signatures, respectively. We present our equal error rates with global thresholds. We trained both VGG and ResNet models. For each type of model, we have used three different types of inputs to train models. First model is trained with original signature images. Second one is trained with outputs of our CycleGAM method. And third one is inverse version of original signatures where background is black and signatures are white. In setup one, we see the easiest setup 
which resembles controlled signature verification environment. In setup 2, we applied cleaning and error rates stayed same with first setup. This is expected because signatures are already unstamped, therefore doesn't need cleaning. But it shows that cycle gain artifacts doesn't hurt the performance. Setup 3 has stamped target signatures similar to the real world scenario. Verification performances significantly deteriorates in this setup. In setup 4, when we apply our stamp cleaning method to stamp target signatures, verification accuracy significantly increases. Also, applying cleaning operation to the reference signatures also improves the performance in, in a small margin. It indicates that our cleaning method increases the performance significantly. We also report our performance on Tabak 800 dataset and performances are similar with our private dataset, which validates the difficulty of the problem. Lastly, inverse signature training is a popular preprocessing choice in the verification research, but motivation behind it was not clear in the literature. We report inverse signature training results. It is clear that inverse training neither improves nor deteriorates the performance. We also report our results as ROC charts. The blue dotted line shows the setup with unstamped target signatures. When we compare it with green line, it is easy to see that performance deteriorates significantly when stamped signatures are targeted. We get the purple and red lines when we apply our cleaning method to stamp target and reference signatures respectively. ROC curves show how effective our solution is. As we showed the effect of the inverse training quantitatively, we also show five mostly activated filters of the VGG model. It is clear that both networks focus on the same parts of the signature. Also, to show the challenging nature of the problem, we performed a human evaluation experiment where 18 volunteers evaluated 360 pairs. Each volunteer evaluated 60 signature pairs and majority voting results are presented. It is clear that our generic feature extractor networks performed worse than human performance, but even human evaluators couldn't achieve the per perfect performances. This shows the challenging nature of the problem. Thank you all for listening.